So last episode reminded me a lot of Detective Conan, but this is a detective story, so kind of expected that. Um, I am still suspicious of the husband, the short-haired lady, and the purple-haired guy. He kept looking at his watch. That, that means something. Um, or there's a small chance that it was just an accident and she drowned. Um, or she did it on purpose as revenge. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm excited to find out what happens next. I'm still not really caring for Toto's character. I don't really see much of his purpose other than to stop Ron from hypnotizing people. Um, but he's really not standing out that much to me. But I want to care about him. So I hope we get to see more and I'll probably change my mind. Uh, my laptop just went to sleep. Um... <laughs> I will start the episode after a countdown. Three, two, one, play. I like this shot with the Japanese maple leaves and dead body. <laughs> nope, not liking that. Ama Mia keeps reminding me of Psychopaths, just something about her character design. The people who were playing the game of life, at first I thought it couldn't be them because they weren't there, but maybe if the husband set something up before and had a delayed effect like food, <laughs> It'd be funny if Ron already knows. Wow. <laughs> Okay, if I remember, co oh, did I drop? If I remember correctly, I think, I think Ishiki is Toto's last name. So I think he is pretending that he's not the one sleuthing, that Toto is the one. It's like another, it's like, it's like if Detective Conan was saying that Mori was actually the one <laughs> actually solving the case. Um, I can't wait to watch this opening because I like Unison Square Garden. Um, I'm guessing this is part two. I think it's going to be concluded, um, at least this case is going to be concluded in this episode. I don't think it will go on to another episode. Um, I'm not sure if this is like a one core, two core show or if it's one core and then there will be multiple seasons. Right now, I'm guessing one core and no sequels. Even though there are a lot of unanswered questions, I just have a feeling this isn't going to be that big of a story. I could be wrong though. I'm not a detective. It's fun guessing though. I like making predictions and it doesn't matter if I'm wrong because this show will tell me. I think Ron knows the purple haired guy is an instructor and is trying to catch him sleuthing.
So it, is it only the people who knew, only the people who knew about the story could have done it? Okay, now I'm thinking it's a taxi driver. Yeah, so it's only the people who knew about the story. I recognize a short hair girl's voice actor from somewhere. Isn't that just steam from the heat? <laughs> the ping pong ball. Wait, did the body actually die somewhere? Like, was she killed elsewhere and then washed over downstream here? Was the dam to show the water flow? Oh, is she going to say thank you? <laughs> Wait, just now, whose ankles were wet from the water just now? They just panned to somebody earlier. Somebody, huh? If that's important, I'll go back to it later. He always does that, and I'm already tired of it. That, that broken bar or pipe from the roof looks similar to something that accumulated into that dam where the hot spring was. I don't know if that's important. I'm just saying that I saw it. It looks similar. It looks like a purple sugar cane. So purple haired guy is trying to follow Ron. Is he in the closet? <laughs> He's in the closet <laughs> listening. I bet Ron knows he's there. Heart failure. 
long-standing heart condition. I think he knows. Even if purple hair guy catches him sleuthing, is he recording him? Because right now it just looks like he's listening. Like he, he needs to bring back some proof, right? Is it, I'm going to guess it's something to do with the dam because they, they showed that. So maybe the body flowed downstream from somewhere. The husband, that's what I thought. Did he do something to her food? Is there something in the water that would trigger her heart condition? And that created the steam? Oh. So she fell? Really? That was, it seems simple. Oh, wow. Why? How? Freezing water. I did not think of that. I knew it. Okay, it's a rain gutter. Okay. Her husband knew there was a name. Oh, changing it from hot water to cold water. But I did call that a little bit because I noticed that caught in the dam. Yay, I'm happy about that. He swapped the signs for the women's bath and men's bath. So 
swapping the curtains. That's why Amamiya ended up going into the wrong one. I feel like there's more to it. Ron might reveal something else. That's what I was thinking, that she, that it was an affair. I knew something was up with the short hair girl because she seemed to be drinking and pissed off near the couple. But last episode, I thought I was suspecting everybody. So I was trying to just narrow it down. But part of me did think it was one or two people. Oh my God, I thought he hung him. Oh my God, that freaked me out. <laughs> they just showed his ankles. Spitzfire, I hate his name. Spitz. Ooh. A job from him.
This is feels really random. Is he lying about this? This seems a bit random. You don't know him. Oh, his character has completely changed. I'm so shocked by his personality change. <laughs> He's turning into like a fan of him. You just insulted him earlier. The grapple. <laughs> he just swings away. <laughs> he really just spider man away or 3D maneuvered. That's one way to get around. He doesn't have to take the taxi. Like, you don't even know him. How can you just say, he's a good guy? Ha 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 ha. Back in the city. Are we getting a sneak peek at the next crime? Mustache. Oh, not watching. I'll just skip ahead to see if there's an end credit scene. Uh, no, I don't think there is. Okay. Okay, so first I'll talk about the, the crime and then I'll talk about the purple haired guy after. So I was right about some things. I, I think in the last episode, I was suspicious of the husband because the wife seemed to want to divorce him and then she died. So I thought, oh, it's some sort of, I don't know, revenge thing or getting her out of the picture because I did notice the short haired girl, she was drinking, she had her back turned towards the couple, but she was shown in the same shot. And I just thought, oh, there's three people here, maybe it's an affair and that's why she wants to divorce him. And that's why she's here drinking and she looks kind of like sad or pissed off. Um, okay, the bath towel, that part seemed like <laughs> really like simple. So I'm glad they made it more complicated than that. And it, it was the cold water. That surprised me. I did not call that. I did not see that coming at all. Um, hmm. I, I'm proud that I noticed the uh, rain gutter that was caught in the dam. Cause I thought that looks unusual. That should not be there. Um, so I'm glad I noticed that. And yeah, the whole changing the curtain rod from male, uh, men and women, I think I've seen that somewhere before, maybe in Detective Conan. Um, I've seen like 900 episodes of that. I've, I stopped at like 900, I think. Um, and yeah, I think, I think I've seen something like that before where they switch it and it's like, oh, that's, that's how it happened. Um, 
Yeah, so I noticed that. Notice the affair. Notice the husband. The purple-haired guy. He kept... Well, I was so suspicious of him. Like, I thought he set up... The, another theory that I had, like, not just the husband, was that what if it's not the husband and what if it's just a purple-haired guy? He just killed a random person to try and create a crime so that he would catch Ron sleuthing. <laughs> but I know, like... He's supposed to be a good guy. He's supposed to be an instructor. So I don't think he would just straight up murder somebody. Um, but he just looks so evil, right? Like he was, he was smirking. He was the glare in his eye, and he was checking his watch. And <laughs> I that that was funny. I wonder if purple haired guy knew the woman was going to be murdered. I thought. I wonder if he knew like while it was happening and he just let it happen so that he could catch Ron later on? Or did he find out as soon as it was announced that, oh, a body has been found? Was that when he first found out about it? Because he did look surprised, I think. Um, okay, so purple hair guy at the end, I was really surprised by his like 180 because before he was seemed evil, like an evil instructor and then he turned into like a like a fan of, of Ron and the story about oh I've got to find my missing family that sounded it was so so <laughs> random like I didn't believe it at first um <laughs> his just personality just swapped it didn't feel like it fit it it kind of felt forced like oh is this how we're moving on to the next plot of the story <laughs> Um, I think I just, I was just so determined to hate him because he seemed evil and then turns out maybe this is his real personality. Um, <laughs> when he pulled out the gravel and started like spider manning away, that was, that was funny. I did not expect that. <laughs> I hope somebody just sees him doing that and he just, I don't know, gets arrested for suspicious behavior or something. His name is Spitz. <laughs> I don't know if there's a historical reference to that, but just on its own, it sounds, it sounds, it sounds bad. <laughs> um, yeah, Toto had more screen time in this episode, but I think Ron was mostly leading it. Um, I'm still not really caring about Toto. I'm sorry. I just, I just kind of feel like Ron could have done this on his own, like minus the hypno hypnosis thing. I, I still kind of wish, I don't know, not a wish. I mean, it's, he seems kind of like extra right now. He's giving me extra side character vibes, Toto is. And I don't know, I need, I need more because he's not standing out to me right now as his own character. Um, okay, so at the end, we saw some guy with a mustache He's in his house, he's got garbage still in his house, and he's opening his fridge. And that's all I got. I have no idea what's up with him. Is he another instructor? Is he another murderer? We'll have to find out in the next episode. So thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.